event in this video we're going to be exploring Paddington Bunker. Let's go! Then, this is Paddington Bunker. Let's go and explore it. This bunker is part of the Council Control Bunker series. This is a completely separate series of bunkers to the World War II Deep London Underground Bunkers and it's also a completely separate series of bunkers to the Trunk Tunnel Deep Cold War Bunkers. So it's a completely separate series of bunkers to those two series. This is part of the shallow Council Control Bunkers. It's not a very deep bunker. It would not survive an atomic bomb. So if the atomic bomb went off, this bunker would not survive it. But if the atomic bomb went off quite a long way away, the bunker would survive it and be a place, a sort of refuge for a few workers just to keep the council running. And this is all it would do. So this is not anywhere near as deep as the World War II London Underground series or the Cold War Trunk Tunnel series. Those are like 30, 40 metres deep. This one is only about five to six metres deep. But it's still interesting. So this is your reception room. So you'd come down here, and this is the first thing you'd see. It's a little cupboard under the stairs there. Which way first? Well, let's go this way, because this way is a lot more interesting. We go along to this room, and this is cooking and water room. You've got a little cooker there. Imagine this bunker being crammed full of employees, trying to keep the vital services going, and the nuclear fallout all crammed down here. I wonder how many people would have housed. I bet be absolute jam full if a nuclear disaster ever did happen, the amount of people I'd try and have down here. A delightful sink. Up there is a water tank. So, we go through here. Oh, creepy door. Go through here. And there is the toilets. Let's look at the state of these toilets. Da, da, da. Yeah. Da, da, da. Oh my, that's even worse. And there is a the shower. Oh, that, that's a little spot of it. To the side, there's your sink for your toilets. Hmm. I bet it would have stunk if this bunk was full of people and we've only got a few toilets. And here we have the air conditioning. This is your filtration system and your generator to keep the bunker going when all the power went off. Well, if that was to happen in a nuclear disaster. So here two sets of fans. And up here we've got a generator. Quite a small generator, probably just out of this bunker. So that's what you'd be relying on if the power went off in absolute disaster. Just this generator. Now if we look up here, I think it would have been filtration or something. Let's look at the fuse boards. There's all your fuses. This is from Cold War era. More fuses down there. Start and stop buttons for your different fans. Creepy. What's in here, I wonder? Let's open this up and have a look inside this. On paper up there. Paddington Civil Defence Centre heating fuse board. In this room, we've got a cupboard. Because that's all cupboard, you get a lift logic in. I think that's just a spares cupboard for keeping your generator and that going. Hmm. Water filtration, maybe? I don't know. This is certainly creepy. Cold War bunker. Never used, luckily. Now, if we go up here, we're heading back to the cooking room, back to the reception room, and now let's try going the other way up the bunker. Now, up here, we've got more toilets. Let's inspect these toilets. Ugh, yuck. Ooh, that's a weird floor. Yuck. And a hot water tank there. Sinks there. If we go out here, go along to this room. Wonder what this room would have been. Bedroom maybe? Very creepy. Normally I can't use a wide-angle camera because 
The year's 2021, and I'm sure in the future you'll get brilliant wide-angle cameras on phones, but in this year you get good regular cameras, but at this point in time, good wide-angle cameras are not yet a thing. So I have to use my zoomed-in camera so you don't get as good a views as if I was using a wide-angle. And this room, oh, is this the main plotting room? This is where everything would have happened. Imagine all the desks and all the seats, all the people sitting here trying to manage a nuclear fallout. Ooh. And in this room we have, I think this would be another plotting room, it looks like it'd be a chart on the wall up there, got the lights up there, little heater, creepy, okay let's try the last room that we have not seen yet. So you go up here, what is this room, I wonder? Ooh. Creepy room. I wonder how many people this would have housed. Do you think you get 100 people in here? I reckon they probably would have tried to squeeze 100 in here. Knowing what happened, well, for a nuclear disaster ever happened, pretty much everyone that was possibly eligible would want to get in this. If this was ever used, you wouldn't want to think about what's happening outside in London. And let's now go outside, and that is the end of the tour of this bunker. So then, that's Paddington Bunker done. Make sure you check out the links in the description to see more videos from the Deep World War II London Underground series bunkers, the Deep Cold War Trunk Tunnel series bunkers, and more shallow civil defence bunkers.